Hello, hello, well, YouTube. Welcome to another tutorial. This is episode number six, and today we are talking windmills. I have built one. You can kind of faintly see it over in the distance. Today we're going to build one here at our house. That house is mine. This house is ours. Today is all about the windmill. The windmill is a very good source of power. I wish I would have known about it sooner, but I didn't, and so I never had them, and you will. How great is that? And so the the easy, the way to set these up is there's a few different numbers you need to know, different heights and everything. And we'll go over that and uh, I'll show you all that. Okay, so I just did a, a quick read because I couldn't remember exactly some of the things. But anyway, this is how you make a windmill. It's a generator in the center. We just went over that in the past few videos. If you need to check it out, it's in one of them. And four iron ingots in its kitty corners, which is a pretty simple setup, pretty simple build. And, you know, in the beginning of the game, they're a great way to get power. And as I'm reading, it's kind of a good way to always get power, I think. Uh, I'm going to put a link in the description to the wiki, the industrial craft wiki, because it is, it's, it's a very complicated matter of where you put it, how high, where, how, when, and everything. But we're going to just do a simple setup. Um, I want my setup to start to be like up here. Actually, we'll go from the bottom because I want the power to come in from the bottom. What's up, watermills? Look at they're producing power. Thanks, watermills. Um, bring it, make it come down right here. All right, there's a good hole. Put hover mode on so I don't keep hurting myself. Um, let's put a piece of cable right here. So how they work is, as you can see, I'm at level 72, which is a, which you could set one up here, but there are so many obstructions, it, it would produce like 0.001 EU per tick. It's just absurd how low it is. You can get them up to 3.6 EU per tick, but you need to be almost at the world height to do that. So that's 256. That's, that's really high. That's a lot of cable you need. I don't think it's worth it. There's better ways and easier ways than going all the way up there like that. But anyway... We're gonna build one. Um, let's go. Let's go over to here and let me just show you how this how this setup looks. I used a glass fiber cable because I I can afford it right now. But the tin cables are fine to come into this. This is an MFE. You don't need one, so we're not gonna go over it yet. But I have one coming down to it and then four coming to it. And as you can see, it produces more power than the water mill by by a long shot. And uh, I like this setup. It's, it's not the most efficient, and as you can see, I'm only at 115, not 256. Uh, this one's a little higher at uh, uh, 127, but still, nowhere, nowhere near the top, nowhere near producing this, the amount of power that I could be producing. But this is a great setup. Uh, this, is, this is almost exactly what we're going to build, but I'm going to show you um, more of a stack pattern. So... I'll show you how I built this and why and uh, and everything. So let's go over there and uh, get a move on, right? So the way this works is uh, ultra low current cables. They can go 40 blocks without losing any power. So that's one. I'm gonna build this real quick. 40 blocks. I'm going 40 blocks up, then I'll come back. Okay, as you can see, that's my house over there. My quarries still haven't finished, and it's been a long time. Whatever, a little bit going. They're not hurting anyone. Uh, here's my house. Here's my little pathway. And up here, we are at 110, which is a pretty pretty high. You know, there's no trees in the way. There's no nothing in the way. So that's the best way you can do it. As far as I remember, it's it's a pretty big pattern that you can um, you can go on. I think it's let me hold on. I have it pulled up. One, two, three, four. One, two. Yeah, it's it's a four. Yeah, uh, one, two. Three. It's four out in every direction. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And all the area around it is how you produce the, the power. So we're gonna just set one up like this right here. Just so I can show you how it works. So we got one set up, bam, water, uh, windmill. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, my game crashed, which, is, which happens like once a day, but it's, it's rather, rather inconvenient, right? Look at this guy. All right, so we set up, we set up the tower, go straight up in the air, right up here. This is where I set it up, all the way up there. 
what we're gonna do, we're gonna take one of these bad boys right here. Bad box. And we're gonna hook it in. Creepy driving me nuts. Alright. So it's way up there. Here's the cable. Here's the bat box. It's not producing any energy. Why? Do I need to make a charge? Yeah, it's producing. Might be Maybe the cables too long. Can't always get this right, right? So let's let's move it up here. Like that. There we go. Yeah, but it must have been too too long. So we have this windmill. I must have built it a little weird because it was at 40. I thought it was at 40. I must have done 41. And it's it's not getting enough power. So once you pass the 40 mark, you start to lose, I believe it's 1 EU per tick. Uh, anything after that. So it might be producing only 1 EU per tick. And so I was past the mark. It, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't give me the power. So there it is right there. And uh, so here's your bat box. It's getting power off of it. And... Oh, my, uh, my output comes down here. All right, so you have that set up up there, and you have this. There's my output. So we're going to hook this cable up to a machine. So let me take one of my machines. Uh, we'll take this guy, a little stone that I was, I was brewing up. And let's bring him up there because it won't work down here. So we got our output. Remember, hold shift if you want to click it and put something on it. We'll put two, we'll go, we'll go three out. And then let's put our electric furnace up. Boom, it melted. It cannot hold, uh, ultra low current cable cannot support anything over five EU per tick. This has an output of 32 EU per tick. So it doesn't work. So what you have to do is use copper cable on the output. But like I said, so charged up almost instantly. Like I said though, is that this right here, after four, it starts to lose. So yeah, it's output at 32, but then if, if we put the machine here, it's at four, we put the machine out one more, it's losing an EU per tick. It kind of defeats the purpose. You'll be losing what you're making. So. Um, they're good and bad, in my opinion. Uh, you know, that set, I have those over there. But they're good. Let me show you. They're good if you can afford ultra low current cable. So all these are going into this MFE up here. Or bat box, we'll just call it a bat box. All this is going to this uh, bat box right here, MFE. And then, instead of, since I tried to hook up the ultra low current cable, that's why this, this happened to me. It came down and my whole wire melted. You know how much 10 cable I lost because of that? kind of sucked. But anyway, if you have the resources to build this, this glass fiber cable, then use it. It can handle a lot of power and uh, it goes 40, 40 blocks before it starts to lose. Uh, this is a great setup. You know, the windmills are cool when you hook them up. So I got this windmill up here. It comes down to this bat box. And then I'm going to hook uh, this cable up to the other bat box, which we're going to go do. And now you're getting water power. And uh, water power and power from the sky. Sky power. Wind power. Let's put that circle right there.
If you don't have a jetpack, just build your way down. The jetpack will be included in my video coming up with uh, just random stuff. Things that uh, don't have anything, any mod that they really fall into. So... I don't want it to interfere with this caper. Cable, sorry. Let's move it. So that's the, the crappy part about all this wiring nonsense. Is that then you have to worry about all that. Uh, crossing wires and stuff. Like now I'm crossing this wire. So we're going to have to go this way. And then you're with that one. So we're going to have to go like that. Alright. Good enough. Let's put this back. Grab the charge real quick. Everything's hooked up. This bat box has almost 40,000 EU. And so what I'm trying to show you here is I have this cable hooked up. This is way more than um, four blocks, obviously. So I'm losing a ton of power through it. So what I would do is um, set up some random bat boxes along the way. So I went up here, and then there's your output. Uh, hook it into this cable. Uh, then see it's got this charge, and then it's going into here. Now this one should be charging. See it's going up, but see how see how slow that is. It's charging really weird. Charging up pretty good actually. Now I'm sitting on 40,000 there. I got uh, five windmills producing power here. Uh, now you're set. You got power. Uh, the next video I'm going to do is uh, about the the geothermal generator. In my opinion, they're they're not worth it in in your house. Let's say you're on like a mining expedition underground and you, you come across a big pit of it. And you have all this iron and copper ore, and you want to smelt it down. It's a great way to. It's a great way to do it. Is uh, that way right there. So, as you can see, this is a cool little setup. We got the five up there, sitting right in a row, all coming down to a bat box here, coming down to a bat box here. Uh, if you want to clean this up a little bit, you know, surround it with stone, or you know, make it kind of look like a like a lighthouse with uh, this power coming out of the middle, you can do that. Obviously, uh, this is kind of just a uh, yeah, the easier way and so that's how you get power you know now you got two different ways you got water mills which we showed last video and now windmills when uh, to make them you put the generator in the center you put the four pieces of iron in each corner you get a windmill you put it up as high as you can as high as you're willing to go mine are at I want to say 107 110 112 All right, uh, 111 technically because I'm standing on top of them 111 which is nice Sorry about that, got a phone call. And so obviously as you can see, the higher you go, the better. If you built one, my jetpack won't go above 186. But if you built one right here, uh, this is a pretty good spot, way up in the cloud, the cloud district up here, uh, you get a lot of power. The only problem is getting it all the way back down without uh, the diamond cables. It's, there's no other way in my opinion, unless you bat box it all the way down every four cables. I, mean, I guess you could do it that way. Um, but that's it. You Last video was water mills. This video was windmills. Next video will be geothermal generators. And then we will get into the compressor, the extractor, and the industrial centrifuge. Three machines that I thoroughly enjoy. And then I have other things too. I want to show the logger. Uh, the Arboratorium or whatever it's called, uh, the B-Mod, I know I use that, the Recycler, all sorts of stuff. So we'll continue these. It was, it was fun, everyone. I'm glad we could do it, and I will see you soon. Goodbye.